A former Governor General, Her Excellency Dame Marguerite Pinling, also mourning the Queen's passing, she spoke exclusively to ZNS News from her Western New Providence home. Carla Palmer reports. Our countries together. It, 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 it's unreal. We just saw her. We just saw her lively and full of life on, on, the, on the screen receiving the, the, the British Prime Minister. But she, she's gone, just like that, without telling us goodbye. As she scrolls through a book of photographic memorabilia, her momentary feelings of sadness of occurrences are soon overcome by thoughts of fond reflection of her first encounter with the late and longest serving monarch to date in history. Dame Margaret was 24 years old at the time. She always, she was funny. She was, um, on my, demi my demission from office as a representative of Governor General of the Bahamas, I took um, I took a gift with me for her. Um, it wasn't the most attractive gift, but it was very Bahamian. Um, it was a photograph of a swimming pig, and it was the ugliest pig. I was so ashamed when I wanted to take something that was really, really Bahamian. Um, and when she saw it, she says, "Gee." What a conversation piece, and she must have laughed, because it was an ugly hog, <laughs> it really was. But it was a typical Bahamian, and I explained, she says she was very pleased and thanks me very much. Dame Marguerite's interaction with the late Queen Elizabeth II spans some 56 years. From 1966, when at the time her husband, former Prime Minister, the late Right Honourable Sir Lyndon Pinling, was opposition leader of the Progressive Liberal Party, through to her most singular important honour, when she was selected as the the late Queen's representative as Governor General of the Bahamas in 2014 to 2019. She said, are they still working you hard? Because my, my damehood was for charitable work, um, charity and politics. And she said, are they still working you hard in the Bahamas? And I told her, no, not very much. And uh, she was about to pin the medallion on. And as I stepped back to Kirsty, it fell to the floor. The medallion. <laughs> And she just looked at me and I looked at her and wondered who was going to pick it up. <laughs> but one of, one of her men came and uh, retreated. Dame Margaret says she will most remember Queen Elizabeth as kind, especially as she was most gracious in fulfilling a request upon her, stepping down from office in 2019 of meeting her immediate family. We received the okay that yes, the Queen will be happy to receive my children. And that really made me happy. But I'm sure she wants us to remember her, the jolly and happy side of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, who loved her people, loved her country. But I would like to say to the family, we have nothing to be sad about. She gave her whole life to service of her country. Without batting an eye, without making a false step, she took her job very seriously and she represented her country so very well. And she's loved, she's loved not even, not only by British people, but, but by the world. For the Bahamas tonight, I'm Carla Palmer.